Good evening and salutations, my Days of Alliance fans. Harrison being a cop? Now, you know, I come from G8, and I can't imagine, you know, every time I see sit every time I see Harris, I always sit there and think of Jason, right? And one of my subscribers, um, Jonathan, was sitting there telling me that when Steve was on Y and R, apparently he was a cop. I still can't see that. But the reason why I bring that up today is because Kate is not there telling him, you know, why don't you sit there and try, you know, try to be, um, you know, try to be a cop or whatever. I mean, it's not like, you know, Salem PD is really competent except for Jada. Jada is the only person in there that seems like they know what they're doing. And, you know, he talks about how, you know, how it may not work out because, you know, he was in a loony bin and, you know, his murky past and the recent stuff that he's done. But he's also done some good things as well between Ava and rescuing Kate and things of that nature. He's done some good stuff to kind of balance off the scales. He's like, you know what? He might as well at this point. He's like, I'll think about it. Now, I'm going to be honest. Um, I don't think it's, it's out the possibility. I mean, they bring back dead people like there's no tomorrow. So, you know, Harris being a cop, I don't really see that to be that far-fetched. There's clearly something going on with Ava and Harris, and, you know, even Tripp can see it. You know, he's not there giving her the third degree, like, oh, so what's going on with you and Harris? You know, what's, what's up with that? I mean, you know, um, are you ready and stuff like that? Like, he's, for the most part, putting that stuff behind. Um... As far as, you know, Harris trying to kill his family and everything like that because of all the good things he's done. Recently, just helping out his mom and helping him out. So he was like, you know, listen, I'm putting that but behind us. But that wasn't really that long ago. You know, you were, you were, you know, in Bayview or, yeah, Bayview for a reason. I mean, the chick was listening to this scene, her dead to meet the son. So... And, you know, also driving one off the cliff. Just saying. But, you know, they want to pluck it up anyway. So, it's pretty much Carly and Jason. I'm just going to point that out. So, you got that going on. You got um, Sarah that's surprised that Susan's alive. You know, with EJ and everything. And, you know, now she's going to think, like, you know, Xander didn't actually kill her. You know, he's not a killer. But I'm also just like, but she could have died. It's like, okay, yeah, he didn't actually rack up a body now, but he could have. Like, it, it could have very, it could have very well been that could have been a thing. It looks like somebody might have been. I don't want to sit there and say who it is because somebody in my and somebody in my live stream always, you know, they do spoilers and stuff like that. I'm always I'm just like, so I have an idea of who it is. And I think most people know who it is. If you have not been my live stream, then you, well, there's a good chance you may know who it is anyway. I won't sit there and say, I won't sit there and spoil it. This is also just a rumor. So you got that going on. And, you know, Kate is pretty much kind of getting blasted by Rex because, you know, Rex is like, yo, listen, like, what are you doing? Like, why are you simply trying to undermine my marriage and, you know, I want to keep my daughter and stuff like that. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? I was like, first of all, you don't have a marriage. Okay, let's, let's be very clear. You know, I mean, I get that he wants to then try to try again with her and everything like that, but I'm like, dude, at the very least, he's going to try to learn to love you. And that's not love. Well, on top of that, you just need to talk about my daughter, my child. Bro, it's not your child. I mean, don't get me wrong. You can sit there... And say that you love your little girl like it's your own, but that's not your child. So, I ain't feeling that. Okay, I'm just going to be honest. I'm not, I'm not feeling that. We know he's upset with her. Eventually, Sarah does come back and, you know, they have a talk. And long story short, she's like, yeah, yeah, I'm, we're, we're going to want to get a divorce. I can't do that. I can't do that to you. And, you know, Rex is like, you know, listen, that's fine. I'm just going to go back to Chicago, a.k.a. Chirac. And he's just like, you know, just, just don't be with Xander. Now, we all know that she's going to want to be with Xander because he didn't rock up a body. I mean, all the other stuff that he could have done, all the other stuff that he's done and everything that she's practically throwing up in his face. But, um, you know, she's going to want to be with him and he's going to want to be with her. 
he does go and see um, Slum. And he's like, I want full custody. And I was like, whoa, 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 bro, listen. I'm all for a father's in the theater seeing a child provided that you are not a homicide maniac, right? But what custody? No, I'm not cool with that. On top of that, bro, you, you do have a record. You do have a you, you do have a past. I mean, granted, her past isn't exactly that squeaky clean. On top of the fact that he lied to him, he also did the, she also did the same thing with Eric. And of course, Eric was not too happy that Sloan was representing um Xander, but I'm like, bro, um it's not like you're exactly bringing in the money though, bro. I mean, I don't I don't, I'm pretty sure you still don't have a job, but yet you want to sit there and start telling her what kind of client she could sit there and see. When is she, when is she going to sit there and ask her, so, um, how was the job search, honey? How, how, how did that go out? How did that work out for you today? I can't wait for her to start, I can't wait for her to sit there and start asking those questions. So, but you know, he apologized and you know, whatever, you know, they're still trying to adopt the baby because at this point, Sloan is just so desperate to sit there and keep this man. <sighs> Susan's also leaving. She's going back to Roger. She was sitting there asking, you know, she was just like, yo, who, you know, who is the, who is the person that brung me to, um, you know, the crumb in the first place? And of course, towards the end, you sit there and you see what looks like blue, like blue kind of like the same like the same type of outfits that they wear in Statesville. And we all know somebody who is locked up in Statesville. Okay, well that that doesn't really narrow it down, but I have an idea of who it is, and I think most people at this point know who it is as well. I think people do. I'm like you know at this point he he might as well sit there and try to try to um apply for for that job because I'm like is you don't have a job and you're already there living in an apartment so I'm like they're they're gracious I don't know I don't know exactly how gracious they're gonna sit there and be so at this point I'm like also Sean is gone now granted I don't think he's gonna be making detective or anything like that but he does have law experience though um you know his background of being a Navy SEAL and stuff like that so it is possible you could sit there and get the job. And like I said, people have come back from the dead. So, yeah. Let's see. I feel like that's about it. I don't know. I don't know if, if EJ is actually going to keep up his promise with, with, um, with Susan as far as not going after Ava or Xander. I mean, I know he did stop the head, but. You know, he just seems like the type of person. You know, he'll sit there and hug you, and be like, "All right, you know, a squash or whatever." But that pride, you know, that I can't, I can't let that person get over, over on me. I'm just saying, it's it's possible he may he may sit there and do something. I guess time will tell. You know, one of the things that I can't wait for is when Sloan gets found out for keeping. Eric's child away from him by, you know, keeping that secret because it was a couple of times that Xander was like, you know, I can't believe that she, you know, I can't believe that Sarah did that, you know, she doesn't deserve to be a mother, this, that, and the third. And when Eric came back, Eric was like, you know, listen, eventually we, we were cool, but there was a lot of hurt and a lot of damage. So, like, that is definitely one of the things I'm looking forward to coming out because she is going to be so screwed. If she does not lose her law license, um, that would be a shock. Also, Xander and Sarah had a talk. You know, Xander came over there and Xander was like, yo, listen, I want to see my daughter. The minute he found out that Rex was leaving, everything was just like, oh, oh really? Oh, that's, that's, no, I, I didn't see that coming. And they're all nice to each other. They're, they're somewhat cordial, you know, because she found out that he didn't rock up a body. And, you know, he found out that, you know, she's getting divorced. Kate is happy. You know, Kate, Kate's happy that, you know, those two aren't going to be a thing. And, you know, the thing is with, with Kate, although she is meddling, which I don't like, I understand her reasoning for it. 
You know, because Sarah literally is all about protecting the child, which is fine, but she is putting Zan, she is putting Rex in the, in the crosshairs. I mean, granted, this was Rex's idea. Let's, let, I'm going to be, let's be very fair. It was Rex's idea, but she's totally fine with it. And she knows that, you know, Rex is doing this more, mostly because he's still in love with her. And although she's very clear that I don't know if anything's going to, you know, it's gonna, you know, um, come upon this, still knows what she's doing. And for the most part, she's made peace with it. So I understand where, you know, where Kate is coming from. Now she's upset. Now she's sad that another son is leaving Salem. So she got that going on. Um, I think that's about it for the most part. Oh, I thought this was a decent episode. I thought it was a decent episode. Very curious to sit there and see where things are going to go. Anyway, I feel like that's about it. I can't think of anything else. So, But if I do, you know what to do. Come to the live stream tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. We'll sit there and talk about all the shows, YNR, Days, b and and of course, GH. With that being said, I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.